List items that are measured using units of volume. What's something, Angeline? Medicine. Medicine. Okay, Ethan. A milk. Milk. <coughs> Horace? Diet Coke. Coke. Diet Coke. Coke or soda, right? So I'm going to put soda because all sodas fall in that. Um, Abney? Human blood. Blood? <laughs> yes, we do um, measure blood in a unit. We usually call them CCs. Yes. A cup of water. Water. Um, Tony? Juice. Juice. What about um, oil? Would ketchup be one that we'd measure? Yeah. yeah. We might measure ketchup, even though it's not a total liquid. Liquid volume is the measure of the space a liquid occupies. Some basic units for measuring liquid volume are gallons, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. And when we were doing it on the board, you some of you were giving me examples of cups or gallons. I heard a couple of those when we were talking. The, bar, the bars below model the relationship among some of those units of volume. The largest units are gallons. The smallest are fluid ounces. Remember a gallon is like the size of a gallon of milk, which you guys are used to. And then who remembers what the benchmark was for an ounce, a fluid ounce? It was the dropper. Remember the dropper full? Oh, yeah. Like a medicine, like a medicine dose. Um, so we have been comparing our measurements of volume on a bar. Obviously, it's not a measurement in length, so even though this kind of looks like length, this is not what a fluid ounce looks like. That's not what it looks like. It's just showing you compared to other items what it would look like. Okay? Or actually, that's eight. So, eight fluid ounces equals how much? One cup. So, by looking at this bar, you can see that eight fluid ounces equals a cup. How many cups equal one pint? Two. Two. If I wanted to find out how many fluid ounces were in one pint, can I find that out by looking at my, my chart here? Yes. Who can tell me what they think the number of fluid ounces in a pint? It's 16. 16. How did you get 16? So you had the 8 here and the 8 here. All right, anyways, good job. So we're going to go back here. It says the bars below model the relationship um, among some of the units of volume. Liquid volume. The largest units are gallon, the smallest are fluid ounces. So how does the size of gallon compare to the size of a quart? Draw two bars that represent this relationship. One bar should show gallons and the other bar should show quarts. So if I look up here, I see, what am I looking for? Gallons and quarts. Here, here's a gallon and here's quarts. How many quarts are in a full gallon? Okay, I'm seeing mostly fours. I see a couple twos. So let's look. A gallon takes up this much space. Okay? And here's one quart, here's one quart, here's one quart, and here's one quart. So one, two, three, four. You see that? Anybody else who had two? Do you guys see that? Okay. If we draw it to represent it on a bar model, we would do gallon, and we would do... Okay, so the next step says shade one gallon on the bar and shade one quart on the bar. So this would be me shading my gallon, and this would be me shading one quart. Now I can look at my model and compare the size of a quart to the size of a gallon. One gallon is how many times as much as one quart? There you go, I heard you all, you said four. Serena needs to make three gallons of lemonade for the lemonade sale. She has a powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of lemonade. How can she decide if she has enough mix? So we're, she's gone from gallons to fluid ounces. Is it easy for me to look at this and see how many fluid ounces are in a gallon? Yeah. I mean, I can, but is it a simple conversion? No, no it's going to take some work. Okay, so we're going to start working backwards. One gallon equals how many cups? So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to count how many cups do I see in one gallon? Raise your hand when you know. How many? 
Sixteen. Okay, so there are sixteen cups in one gallon. And one cup equals how many fluid ounces? Eight. Eight. So I'm going to take those 16 cups times eight fluid ounces, and I'm going to find out that one gallon has how many fluid ounces. Go ahead and do the math on your paper. Then we're going to make a table, because she's talking about three gallons, right? Yes. Not just one gallon. So I'm going to make a table. I have one gallon equals 128 fluid ounces. How am I going to decide, how am I going to figure out how many fluid ounces are in two gallons? Who has an idea? Sophia. Right. Multiply 128 times 2. Go ahead and do that. Okay, what did we get? 256. 256. So I have now three gallons. If I want to figure out how many ounces are in three gallons? I'm going to do what? Multiply. Multiply what numbers? Um, Daniel. So three times 128. Go ahead and do the math. Malia. 384. How many of you got 384? So now I know how many ounces are in three gallons. That's what she. That's what she has. I'm going to go back and look at the question. It says she has powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of lemonade. Does she have enough powder mix to make three gallons of lemonade? Look at the question, look at our chart, and, and decide. She needs how much? Three gallons. She needs 350. She has three gallons. How many are in three gallons? 384. 384 is greater. Does she have enough? Yes. yes. Yes, she does. So 350 fluid ounces is greater, I mean less, sorry, less than three gallons. So Serena has enough mix to make the three gallons of lemonade. Compare the size of a quart to the size of a pint. So they've given you the example here, or they've already shown you, that one quart equals how many pints? Two. Two. So pint and pint. Now I showed you that bar where it compared all the, the customary measure, customary units to measure volume. Here's another chart that shows it, starting at the cups. Eight fluid ounces equals one cup. Two cups equals one pint. Two pints equals a quart. Two, oh, now they've done it. Two quarts, it doesn't do it, but two quarts equals a half gallon. Two half gallons equal a gallon. But they've also broke it down by how many cups are in a quart, how many quarts are in a gallon, how many pints are in a gallon, and how many cups are in a gallon. So there's a very good resource for you right here. Make sure you don't lose that when you're looking for, um, when you're looking for how, do I, how do I compare these. And you might want to check in your homework book, not right now, but later before you go home. You might want to check in your homework book and make sure there's something like that in there. If there's not, I suggest that you bring your book home so that you have access to that. Or copy it down, that's fine. Okay, one quart. One quart is how many times as many as one pint? Two. Two cups. One quart is two times as many as one pint. So one quart is two times as many as one pint. So two pints is how many cups? Let's go back. Let's go back to pints. It says that there's two cups in a pint. So two cups. I'm going to write it this way. Two cups in one pint. Does anybody know why I wrote it that way? Why did I write it that direction? Tony? Because that way, if there's one pint, you know it's two cups, and two pints is just double two, which equals four. It's a visual thing for me, so that I make sure that I'm doing the right conversion. So I can see if it's one pint, it's two cups, so then two pints must be four cups. Let me show you what can happen if I write it the other way. If I write two cups, Two cups equals one pint. I might get confused 
Well, I already have two cups, so it's one. I might think it's one. But to keep it less confusing for myself, I always line up the units with what I'm trying to convert to. So one pint equals two cups. So then two pints must equal four cups. So now I'm going to do number three. And I'm comparing gallons and quarts. So I'm going to look at my little chart here, and I'm going to see how many quarts are in one gallon. Looking up here, raise your hand when you know how many quarts are in one gallon. Oh, and how many quarts are in one gallon? How many? Four? I can't hear you. Okay. So he said one gallon, and I'm going to put it this way, equals four quarts. I'm going to line up my conversions the same way. So if one gallon equals four quarts, how am I going to find out how many three gallons is? What do you think, Angelica? Four plus four plus four, or... Oh, really? <laughs> of three times. Four. Right. So you can do three times four or just do four adding it three times. So three times four is what class? Wow. Okay. So now I'm converting quarts and cups. I want to know how many cups are in six quarts. Look back and find out how many cups are in a quart. Okay, how many cups are in a quart? Ebony. Four. Four quarts. Well, you have to, we're converting cups and quarts, so you have to use those. So four cups in one quart. So I'm going to do what to find out how many are in six quarts? Go ahead and tell your names. What did you guys get? 24. 24. Awesome. 